Hey guys, Chris Brown here, KZ Guy 2. Today I want to talk about cleaning your clean burn waste oil furnace. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a quick check over here. We got the heat, it's been running for about 10 minutes. Uh, we have it set at 57 degrees, it's 54 inside. Uh, everything's working good on the block heater, nozzle heater. Everything's working good there. We got our uh, oil pressure set at about 3.3, 22 psi air pressure. Let's take a, a look at the flame in here. Um, see how that looks. Looks like a nice flame. So let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, stack temperature over here. We're running about 700 degrees on the stack temperature. So we're going to go ahead and clean this thing now. Uh, you pop this cover off on this side and clean this whole uh, heat exchanger in here and see if that's going to give us a difference. Uh, right now we are at 13,691 hours and the last time I cleaned it <clears throat> was, uh, by the way, today is March 17th, 2017. So the last time I cleaned it was November 6th, 2014 at 13,286 hours. Uh, these things get really dirty depending on, you know, how good they're running and what you're burning in there. But uh, last time I cleaned it, it was clogging up my shop vac filter like crazy. So today we put a brand new filter on here. We've emptied out the base. There's still some crap in there. The hose is frozen right now, so I can't clean that out real good for you guys. But uh, we're going to be using this this dust deputy. And uh, my buddy's been raving about this thing, telling me, oh my god, it's, your filter won't clog up. It's going to be great. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on these and how they work. Uh, you guys can look that up if you're curious. But we're going to see if it works well for the fine particulates of this, this clean burn. Because it's been a little while. You're supposed to clean these things. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe every 100 hours, something. But I mean, actually it doesn't look too bad looking at it right here. But anyway, we're going to pop this uh, heat exchanger apart. <clears throat> Basically, all to do that, uh, you know, you're going to take your flue off and then take these screws off in this cover, grab this handle, whole piece comes off, and there's another cover underneath. All right, so we got the stack off. And by the way, I failed to mention before, you definitely want to wear some kind of, uh, you know, face mask doing this because this is some, some nasty stuff, so... Uh, preferably respirator would be nice, but I don't have one handy anyway. So in the bottom of this stack, you can see we got some, some a lot of build up there, and inside on these heat exchangers, looking pretty dirty, pretty dirty down there. It's actually not too bad. I've seen a lot worse before. So all right, so we got the cover off here. Definitely some uh, a lot of build up here. Oh yeah, tons there. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the head here, can't see too much. In the back of these tubes quite a bit too so anyway uh this, this gasket fell off here too so i have to clean that up and re-glue that but the way this thing works it shoots fire at this target right here and then the hot air travels through these tubes and then back through these tubes right here out the chimney so that's why this, this gasket's important to have in place because otherwise you'll lose efficiency uh and then you have a fan on the back side that blows across this whole thing you know so you got the Tubes, tubes all inside there. Boom, get some some good heat from that. So, uh, but let's take a visual at this is dust deputy and how well it works with this here. Uh, again, if you don't want to deal with this kind of stuff, this this powdery, nasty, probably cancer causing, you know, um, waste oil uh, leftovers. Uh, don't get a waste oil heater because you definitely got to do this pretty frequently. So at least you're supposed to do it at least once a year for sure, once a season, if not numerous times in the season. With the vac going, check this thing out. Oh, yeah, check that out. Well, I'm gonna say that dust deputy works awesome because inside the shop vac here, we got no buildup at all on the filter and basically nothing in the bottom from those, those piles we just vacuumed. And inside this thing, let's see what we got. Pop this off, boom, we got. Oh, that powder down there. So that's, uh, this dust desk deputy is the freaking bomb. I mean, because I, I did this a couple years ago, and I mean, what a mess with the filters. It, it was terrible, so. All right, so this sucker was pretty dirty. We got this basically all clean, got the target out of there. You know what, it's clean as I'm going to get this stinking thing, because uh, we're starting to lose some suction on the vacuum, but look at how much, I mean, this this is heavy. This is... We got quite a bit of just ash out of there. So this dust deputy worked phenomenal. We did start to lose suction. 
and we definitely got some some fine powders up in here and definitely started to lose some suction however without that dust deputy i don't think this would have been uh the dust deputy was you know i mean this thing works wonders all right so here we are after cleaning this thing up we've gone from uh 35 degrees in here up to 54 have it set at 57 same conditions as before we've got a pressure set the same let's check out this flame now that this chamber's a lot cleaner. Oh, yeah, it's a lot nicer in there. A lot cleaner. Now, more importantly, let's go to the other side and see our exhaust temperature. Look at that. So we're just at about right at 400 degrees. This thing's been running for 10 minutes, like I said uh, before. We were at 700. So obviously, cleaning all that, you know, uh, build up of of ash in the heat exchanger in there those tubes makes a huge difference in the efficiency uh you know it was low and high either way um either way this it was it had great temperatures but i mean you can see our efficiency is much better now and so uh yeah keep your clean burn clean and uh thanks for watching hope this help video helps you guys out um certainly helped me out and uh now now i can put that to rest and you know, more importantly, this keep this flue guard in here. Uh, you know, this, this is made by Flue Guard, made in USA. Keep this in there. When you reach 700 degrees, 6700, you know, you better clean that heat exchanger out right away.